Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a tutorial on how you can convert a very basic vocal sample into something much more interesting and dynamic. You know, so you kind of get an idea of where we're going to go with this. All right, let's go ahead and make it from scratch. So you want to take a vocal sample. It can be whatever vocal sample. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using stock only plugins and samples. So in the vocals folder here in FL Studio, I'm going to go to the Laurie Web UA. That's just what I'm going to use. I'm going to right click and I'm going to open this in a fruity granulizer channel. So then I'm going to go into the little gear icon here, the settings. I'm going to go to the sample tab. I'm going to right click the sample and I'm going to edit in pitch corrector. Now this is going to open new tone. And what this will allow me to do is to put the sample in one note. It'll show you here which notes it's kind of tuned to. So here you can see it's on F sharp and more or less on like F, E, F type of range. So what you want to do is you, you move this to the nearest note together with the other one. If it's separate, sometimes you'll have a sample, a vocal sample that's just one note. Sometimes you'll have you know, somebody singing a phrase or something like that, then it'll be various notes. So you can then go here towards the center. Usually this is off. You want to turn this all the way up and it'll align it to one note. And so you, here you can see it's on F sharp, right? So once you do that, the sample will be ready. You can click on here on this drag selection tool and you just drag it back into the granulizer. Now, if you want to make sure of the key that it's in, you go into the edit in audio editor and it's going to open up Edison. You right click regions, detect pitch regions. So as you can see, it's an F sharp here. It's showing you as well. It was showing you that it's on F sharp. So usually this will tell you, but if you want to just double check, you can op open up Edison and double check that way. So now what you want to do is you want to go into the little wrench here and you want to put it on F sharp. So you go to the nearest F sharp and you right click and that'll set it to the new root. So now you can just play it in normally as you would on your MIDI keyboard and it'll play it in key to whatever notes you play. So now you can have a little bit of fun in Fruity Granulizer. Fruity Granulizer is a very incredible plugin and I feel like not a lot of people use it to its full potential and it has some really cool effects that you can do with it. So you can start off by lowering the attack time, you increase the hold time, and then you can mess around with the different spacing here, gain sp grain spacing and wave spacing. Now if you want it to loop, you have to click this little loop section, that way when you hold down a note, it's just going to continuously re repeat the sample. Now if you want to add panning effects, you simply turn on the pan knob here and it'll spread it. It'll make it more stereo. You can increase the depth, the speed, and you can randomize where it's going to kind of hit. Now to get it to sound even more creative, you can route it to the mixer. I like creating buses, so I'm going to create a delay bus and a reverb bus. So now you take that and you route it into any of these uh, buses, right? And this is the mix knob of how much you want going in there. Usually you don't want fully, you just kind of want a little bit. But again, it just depends up to you and what you want to do. And on the delay bus, of course, you got to insert a delay. I'm going to use delay 3. I'm going to turn down the dry signal since the dry signal is already coming out through here. I just want the wet signal of the delay. And of course you can mess with all these different settings depending on whatever delay you choose. Mm -hmm. 
Now, before the delay, you can also add an EQ, then filter out whatever you don't want going into the delay. And for the reverb, same thing, you add a reverb. You want to turn down the dry signal, turn up the wet signal all the way. And then you can start messing with the size, the decay time, the reflections. And there you go. You have something much more interesting, much more creative to work with compared to just the basic. And again, you can do this for anything. You don't have to stick only to vocals. You can do different effect sounds, different instruments, different any kind of sample that you want to just kind of experiment with and mess around with, manipulate, you can do this too. And again, you don't have to stick just to reverbs and delays. You can put in their chorus, flangers, you know, some kind of glitch plugins. You can throw in gross beat if you want to kind of mix it up. So yeah, the possibilities are endless. The point is you can get very creative and experimental with what you do in FL Studio. I just kind of want to come on here and give you guys a little bit of inspiration on using stock samples, stock plugins, and different ways in which you can manipulate sound to your liking. Flex has a drum kit that has 808s in it. Now I'm gonna load up some stock pitch correction. You can use pitcher. This is in the key of C minor. Don't judge me, okay. I'm just, this is just an example. It's okay. Anyways, this was not about making a track. This was about turning a vocal into something much more interesting to use in your music. Hopefully this was of some kind of help to you guys. If you didn't know how to do these things, well, now you know. And go ahead and do as you wish with it. That's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys stay tuned. I'm going to be putting out more videos like these of little tips and tricks that I... That I have for you guys. I'm going to show you guys some things. I'm going to show you guys some things baby. You guys ain't ready for it. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Love yourself. Love one another. And I will be back. Next time. Latest.